Hey guys, today we're gonna be rating our slimes. So this one um, is like a nice purpley color. Yes, um, I like butter, butter slimes, but this slime is really nice and it's nice and stretchy and squishy and it's got beads, if you guys can tell her. So I would give this one a solid 9.5 out of 10. Um, I just give it a solid nine. Okay. okay, and now moving on to our next slime. Um, one second, we have to put this one away. They were just like. Okay. Okay, our next one is a crazy slime. Crazy Z slime. slime is a purple slimy. So, this is what it is. It's very small, so. Yeah. It's like the other one, nice. Let's do a little bubble test, really quick. Yeah. Let's get it all nice and flat. You can see my face. Down. Wait. Stop. Bubble test. Don't want to make good bubbles. Well, those are really small. Right. Super tiny. Okay, so what would you rate this one? So, I like bigger slimes, like stuff. So, I would give this one an 8 because I like the stretchiness and consistency. Okay, and I'd give this one a 7 because I don't really like small slime. All right, let's move on to our next slime. Which is an Elmer's Goo slime. It's a unicorn. So, it's not butter. It's not a butter. So, this was a clear slime. And then me and my sister, like, colored it and added some nice fun beads to make it crunchy. Look, guys, it's a tiny strawberry. You can't see. So, this slime is kind of sticky. Yeah. Like, kind of, like, just sticky, sticking to my hands. Okay, so, so what would you rate it? Well, I really like popping slimes that have beads in it. So I give this a 7.5 out of 10. 7.5. And I would give this one another 7. Because it's like really sticky. Yeah. Okay, next slime. Okay, our next slime is a double. We're not really sure what it's called. It just came in like a double. So yeah. she will play with the green and I'll play with the blue. So here's like the blue. It's not really that stretchy. It's almost like a clay. Yeah, or that squishy. It's kind of squishy. It can stretch good, but you gotta go slow. It's not super let's, squishy. Let's do a little so bubble test. It doesn't make bubbles. Well, let's just try. We'll try to make a bubble test, but. Well, I mean, I'm like stretching. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna no. rate this one um, definitely a four. Yeah, mine's four a four. Out of 10. Four out of ten. Okay. Okay, do four next. Okay. Mm. Our next one is this Elmer's Goo Unicorn Magic. It's kind of weird. Um. But, um. Here it is. Yeah. It has like tiny little unicorns in it. It actually smells pretty good. It does. It smells like bananas. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's nice shimmery with like unicorns in it. Like I said. Not super stretchy. Not super stretchy. No. And not super good squishing consistency. Okay, so what would you rate this? A solid seven. Seven. I I'd probably rate this a solid six. Okay. Our next one is a fart slime. Flarp. Flarp. Noise putty. Flarp isn't the best slime, but it can be good. Yeah. Okay, so let me just rip this in half. Yeah. So it's like this. It smells pretty good. It's not stretchy. It does smell like blue raspberry because it's blue. Um. Um. It's, it's kind of good at squishing. Well, let's check, it, check its fart. Fart test. Put it in like ASMR. 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 Okay. okay. Um, so what would you rate this? A three and a half. Three. Okay. Three point five. 
Mm, three. Okay, and I'm gonna rate this probably mm, another three. Yeah. Okay, now time for another Next one. Next time we have this crazy Z yellow slimy, like the purple one, but it's yellow. Oh, but this so is green kind of. We added blue glitter, so it turned green. It some it has some beads in it too. Ooh, it's a very good squishy, nice. Yeah. Like shimmery, nice, good. But squish. I don't really like that it says yellow and then it comes, now it's green. Because we had a blue glitter. But still. Next time, by the way, guys, it's gonna be kind of messy. So. Yeah, it will be messy because the slime that we have is a homemade slime for the next one. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. So, what would you okay. rate this? I would rate this. Oh, and it doesn't stick to paper. Yeah. Um, I would rate this slime a 8.5. Um, I'm going to rate it just a 9. Okay, our next slime is the homemade slime. Yeah, so you guys can actually make this with only two materials. It is baking soda and lotion or lotion conditioner. Or conditioner. You have to do it in the container because it makes a big difference. So basically, like, it's almost like a little, just like, texture -y thing. Yeah. It's not stretchy. It's not, oh, I mean, it's squishy, yes. It does not make it's any like bubbles. It's like sensory dough, kind of. Yeah, sensory dough. It's just white because we didn't have, oh, and you can use food coloring if you have. So this is almost like Play-Doh. Kind of. I mean, we could put it in a balloon. So you guys can make this and then put it in a balloon for a nice, like good a little stress ball. stress ball. Okay, well, anyway, Bella. In the next What slime, would you rate, rate this? Four and a half, because, you know what, three. Why'd you write five? 4.5. Oh, uh, okay, 4.5. Okay, and then I'm going to rate this probably 4.5, too. Okay, so we have one last slime. It's actually... Well, no, we have two. Boom, and boom. Okay, so we have two more slimes that we need to fix. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I swear there's okay. three of these. There's one more. I think... Okay. So our next one is a... Something that I can't open. Here. There we go. So, so it's there's chocolate. Okay, let's just end the video.